It's literally so easy to set up that I think anybody, including my grandma, could do this in about 60 seconds. Basically, you just put the suction cup on, you plug the power cable into your 12 volt, and I like to run my cables around the back so it's a little bit cleaner. I can even do this without looking. There's the ports on the left side. So we have the power port right about there, I think. Boom, got that. Grab my iPhone cable, plug it into the USB port on the side here. Let's see if I can do this without my eyes. And voila, plug it in. There we go. It goes from no device to Apple CarPlay. And that took, I think- Hey, hey, hold on. Before you tell them about the IntelliDash, don't you want to tell them the difference between using CarPlay as an operating system versus just mounting their phone to their windshield? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can handle it. All right, yep, cool. you have a good point. That. Okay, so let me tell you guys about why CarPlay is better than just mounting your phone up here, because as you can see, the screen is not that much bigger. I mean, significantly bigger, but if you have an iPhone 12 Max or 11 Max, then, you know, it's not that different, but the operating system of Apple CarPlay is. And before you ask, yes, this is a little bit in the way while driving, but you can see from the GoPro footage here that it's not bad. And this kit actually comes with a suction sort of mount that you can stick anywhere. So if I want to, I could stick it down here and then have the screen up covering the radio and just leave it on aux all the time. But depending on which car you have, you'll have to think about where you wanna mount this. But let's talk about Apple CarPlay as an operating system. So I like to use Spotify for my music. And the biggest thing, if I mounted my phone here, if I turn my phone sideways, Spotify does not turn sideways. However, Spotify on Apple CarPlay is built to be in this orientation. It's built to be sideways. It's very easy to select your songs and different playlists while you are driving. And also everything here is set up to be user friendly in terms of switching apps, also doing your texting and phone calls and everything is basically Siri or touch controlled. Remember now we don't have home buttons on our phones. So to go from something like settings to Spotify, we have to do three steps on CarPlay. If we wanted to go to settings, we just hit settings right there. If we wanted to go to Spotify, we go to Spotify. And then the best thing is, if you go to the home screen, you tap again, you have this try layout. So we have our maps, which I blurred because I don't want you to know exactly where I live. Then we have our songs that are now playing. And then we have a widget that changes depending on what we're doing. So sometimes it might be music recommendations, otherwise it's navigation, etc. And if you're watching this video, you probably already know why you want CarPlay. It also makes any car feel way newer than it is. And also since you're not fidgeting with your phone as much, because things are faster to get to, you can keep your eyes on the road and also stay safer. Now, how does the music get from here into your car? Well, that's a good question. Thank you for asking, internet stranger. Basically what you do is you have two options. You could set up the FM transmitter. So let's say we set it to 107.3. Change my tuner to 107.3. So we'll go up here. And there we are. And now if I were to play music from my phone, it's just gonna use an FM transmitter to play it. You can see I'm now playing this song from my phone right here, and it is streaming from the IntelliDash, which is running CarPlay plugged in through the USB cable. It is streaming to my car, and it sounds pretty good. If I were to fast forward, you can see no lag or anything. It works pretty well, but if you have an auxiliary port in your car, what you can do is actually add an aux cable, which makes it sound even better because then you have no radio kind of noise. So I do have an aux cable. I have it tucked right here. So what you can do is on the side, you do have auxiliary as an option. So we can plug that in and then we can play our music anytime without having to go to FM radio. I can just plug it in right here, change it to aux. And now when I play my music, it's gonna play directly through the car without any need for radio. And you can see the car is on auxiliary right now. The other nice thing with this mount is that you can tilt the screen up and down. You can also turn it towards yourself or towards the passenger if you want to. And a really nice thing that I decided to do is actually not use this auxiliary cable. Now, the IntelliDash doesn't actually come with an aux cable or an iPhone cable. It only comes with the power cord here. So if you want to have a cleaner setup, what I recommend doing is buying this 90 degree cable that you're seeing right now. And that just makes it look a little bit cleaner. And then you can tuck all these cables away down the dash. So it's very easy. All you do is you take the cables, you run them down the dash here, tuck them in, and then have it go down the side of the car and into the 12 volt port. I keep it like this because I switch through several cars every couple months. And so I decided to not do the wire tuck, but I would recommend you do that if you want the cleanest setup. 
And that is the IntelliDash from Car and Driver. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And that's about it. CarPlay, much easier to use than your phone. All the apps are meant to be used in this orientation. You have this nice large screen. It doesn't glare at all badly during the day, and it's actually a very high quality looking display. It's very HD. One note I will add is that it has a microphone built in here, and I've been talking to a couple people on the phone. They said that the microphone quality is not great, so I still use my AirPods when I'm doing a phone call. The Amazon link is down below. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.